Blessings and Curses Now in a previous podcast, which was meant to be my last and final podcast, I mentioned something that I wanted to elaborate on, which was God doesn't curse us, we curse ourselves. And so I wanted you to read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 26 to about 28. From the beginning, you are told, you have a choice. You can either accept the commandments given to you by God or reject it in suffer, basically. And so, we are not forced to follow these commandments, but we have a choice. You see, the intelligence that brought forth the universes understand how the universe works. Therefore, when the soul is given a commandment to follow, that will make him in tune with the universe. When the soul rejects this, then the life force of the universe basically rejects the soul. It cannot work with you. And so one has a choice to follow their own ego or submit to these laws and have the God presence, which is the Christ force, in them. In ancient Kemet, you have the 42 laws of Ma'at, the laws of the Divine Mother. In order for the soul to be born, In Christ, Heru the Christ. Before the Christic force can come in you, these laws had to be followed, and the soul will be guided in the temples of Kemet. So these laws are not just in the Bible. It has always been in ancient Kemet. The place that gave civilization to the entire planet. And so in in Islam, they say you have to submit your will to do the will of Allah. It is only when we fine-tune ourselves, which is why the Hermetica said it's only when man has tuned his own mind into the mind of Atum, then the two become one. But first, we must destroy the ego, which in Exodus, It is called Pharaoh, the tyrant, who will not let God's people go, so they they may, they may worship him. So we have learned so much from different places, but the goal. After all your learning is to 
Merge yourselves with God. Period. And so the choice is ours. You follow me and my commandments. I'll bless you. You have my peace on earth. Wisdom, knowledge, how to move about in the earth. You reject me and I reject you. And then the outcome of that, you may not like it. And so the choice is ours. And this is in Deuteronomy 11, 26 to 28. You can go read it for yourselves. Because today the churches are not being run by the Spirit of God. Satan has set himself up in churches too. In the mosque. In the synagogues. You see, there's a story in the Bible, in the book of Luke. There's a man named Zacchaeus. The meaning of his name is pure and innocence. You see, Zacchaeus wanted to see the Christ, even though he was a tax collector. Zacchaeus couldn't find the Christ or couldn't see the Christ. So he had to climb a tree in order to see the Christ. What tree is this? The tree of life. The tree of ascension. And when Zacchaeus climbed the tree, the Christ found him. And said, in your house, I may eat with you. The meaning of this is Zacchaeus had to remove all the obstacles in his way. They said he was a short man. We're not talking about some short guy trying to make his way or find his way through some giants in order to see Christ. But he had to remove all the obstacles in his way and climb up, raise himself up to see the Christ. And the Christ met him. This is a story that we can all learn from. All the obstacles in our lives, all the foreign gods that we have created in our lives, which is mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy. Because anything we worship in this world has become a God to us. And so in the Bible you are told, the Israelites worship idols that they have made with their own hands. It may be a Ferrari, you made it with your own hands. And then you bow down to it. It may be a cross, you make it with your own hands. And then you bow down to it. So we must all become like Zacchaeus. Remove all our obstacles. Raise ourselves up. Like the prodigal son said. I will arise and return to my father's house. After we had rubbed ourselves in all the mud in the earth. Bathe ourselves in the mud. We have to rise up because, you know, the human soul, it is the greatest thing ever created in the entire universe. Not the angels, not the planets, not the stars. The human soul is God himself put to sleep in the earth. The lowest planet in the universe. It's not a bad place, but because of our bodily needs, we are easily turned away from our higher self, and then we must struggle 
to find ourselves again. And so if you wanted to know the meaning of Zacchaeus climbing the tree, to see Christ, then let us make this the icing on the cake for all of us. Because we all have obstacles in our lives that we must remove. Which is why we have the laws, the commandments, the 42 laws of Ma'at, truth, the laws that allow the Divine Mother to give birth to us spiritually again. So we must fill our hearts with the light of the morning star. Morning star is not the sun. It is the star that rises before the sunrise. The light of Venus. Which is love. So before Heru rises in the morning, he is filled with love. From the bright morning star. Peace.